Hello Tarot people. So we have a card of the day, which is the ninth of this 12 day, just three more days after this. And this represents the month of September. Check out, we've got the four of wands. What a beautiful card. Look at that. Look at the abundance floating on those wands up there. A wonderful harvest. The two figures in the background celebrating some type of party going on in the background. Party time in September, maybe. Well, there's a little bit more to it than that in this card. So the symbology here comes with um, the energy of the number four and this grounded, stable nature that four represents in the suit of wands, which is our spirituality, our intuition, our grounded creativity. It is that part of us which is budding for life and sharing our abundance with the world. This is this is where the spirit is actually grounded in a, in a level of safety and certainty. And there's a trust, there's a faith, there's a faith in life, there's a trust in, in the divine here. And we're not uh, afraid about how, where our energy is or where, where we need to um, direct our creativity and how we can connect with our spirituality. It's as if we are, we are, we are well grounded in the knowledge of who we are and this is the awareness and this calls for the awareness of how we can share our abundance, how we can share our love, how we can share our spiritual truth with the world around us. And this, is, this card is asking us to do so. There are other aspects of this card as well um, that represent you know, this celebration and this coming together and and like, a, like an inner marriage in a way, this card is very often related to kind of celebrations and, um, and family get togethers and meetings where people, you know, enjoy and celebrate the abundance that they have in their lives. And this is very much an inner abundance and it's an inner coming together. And this celebration can be seen as like a marriage where I see in some way there's a marriage of the, un, of the, of the subconscious and the conscious here as we are connecting to ourself on a heart level. This is definitely the energy of Jupiter in the, in the Sefer of, Ye, of Ye Chesed. This is an energy of very much grounding the earth in inner stability of love and abundance. So, oh, I also see this card as well. I mean, I see all the suits of wands as this, but because I'm a bit of a gardener, um, the wands always have these budding little um, sprouts of leaves on them and it just reminds me all the time about where I would just go around and take you know hundreds of cuttings of different plants and trees and bushes and and plant them in the ground and look after them a lot and really water them like crazy um, while they don't have any roots until they mm, just manage to grow roots. And when they do start growing roots, you see new buds coming off in these cuttings, which are just look like the ones, you know, twigs, that, straight twigs that you might mm, gently put in the ground and look after. So for me, this card of, of the four represents, you know, after, after you've looked after a cutting and you've watered it every day and you've made sure that it doesn't get too much sunlight, but it gets good drainage and that, you know, that you're really taking care of the baby plant here before it's managed to root itself. This is the, this card shows that there is not just the rooting has happened, but there is also a fruiting taking place, an abundance coming from this creative process that you've instigated in your life, that you have asked for in your life, that you have worked at creating in your life. So there is a fruition here or a completion and a success found in your own, your own self-budding process of your higher intuitive connection to spirit. And, and your creative outlets in your life. And this is also what this card represents. So it's, it's like saying, yeah, okay, the work has paid off, now it's time to celebrate. There is a couple of obstacles with this card that I found, and I'm gonna throw a little challenge out there for you today. What I'd like you to do, and the biggest challenge of this card, is recognizing our abundance. So sometimes we have this you know, ability to take for granted what is amazing in our lives and what is great about ourselves. So I'm gonna throw a little challenge out there because this card is asking us to celebrate what is good about yourselves and what you have achieved, what you have accomplished. 
And I'm going to ask you to take a look inside, ask yourself very mm, simply and honestly, so how am I great? What can I be proud of? What can I feel there is a success in my life? Where can I, how can I look at myself and say, oh, I really like that about me. I really, I really appreciate that I have this quality or that I have had this amount of success in my life. I'd like you to find something that really makes you feel good about yourself, focus on it, think about it, and drop me a comment down below, just because this is about sharing who you are, you know, with, with less suppression or, or feeling that you need to be judged. This is about claiming your greatness and being okay about it. So allow yourself to share what you feel good about who you are. And if you find it difficult to express that, then you don't have to share it, but that's part of the practice and that's the challenge. Wish you all a great day. Hope this is a uh, representative of a fantastically abundant September in the, in the season of harvest. Why not? Maybe we'll be harvesting the fruits of our own inner work at the same time. Love to you all and have a great day.